Are we about to see a turn of events? Hopefully, that is surely the case. Hello, everyone. Hope you guys are having amazing XRPs around 43 cents here. Um, and the red, guys. Wow. The volatility, guys, is literally off the charts, right? Like we said, like we called last week, guys, this week will probably be very volatile, right? Now, next week is going to be the trigger of what will happen next, guys. Um, we are slightly dumping because supposedly the German government um, keeps selling their Bitcoin, guys. They did not buy back Bitcoin yesterday. Instead, not all of their sell orders were filled, so the unsold Bitcoin uh, Bitcoin was returned to their account, guys. Um, but but though cause Bitcoin continues to flow out of the German government while it's even on weekends, right? So it's literally nonstop until it runs out. It seems as um, we just need to weather the storm. It looks like right. Basically, at this point, we just need to weather the storm. Now we have that on our hands, guys. Not to mention on the other side, we have Mount Gox as well. Right, with the repayments. Now I'm hoping they calm down, right? Maybe wait a few few more months, then pay everyone out when the markets are topped out from Alex Alex Cobb. Not many people are aware of this though, because Mount Gox was created by a Ripple co founder, Jet McCaleb, right? Then he later sold uh, uh, Mount Gox supposedly to a French guy and it went bust. Isn't that weird, guys, right? Not to mention Jet McCaleb, if you go down here, right? We know Arthur Brittle, a mysterious figure, then Jed McCaleb. There is no mention. There is no mention of Jed in the lawsuit as well. Strange, very strange, huh? Now, guys, there's the fun part of XRP in the XRP community. Now, this is kind of quite interesting, though. It seems like everything leads back to what, guys? Literally, Ripple, right? Does nobody else see this? Why does all roads lead to Ripple, guys? Right? Um, because from Ripples and Whales, when Bitcoin Maxis find out satoshi wrote a book paint uh, a book pointing attention at ripple japan and xrp they will likely lose their minds it was always ripple and xrp the world has yet to catch up guys right isn't that strange guys jet mccaleb mount gox back goes back to ripple satoshi nakamoto bitcoin goes back to ripple right Seems like the foundation was literally built by Ripple. Now, check this out. 1777. So we have a tweet decoded right here from Ripple Red Alert 1777. But what does that mean though? It could come out to 877. Eight can come out to 2024. Seven, seven as well, right? Red to green. Could that be the case, guys? Red already happened. Are we about to see green? Well, here comes uh, David Shorts, guys. Another delta next week, it seems as. Um, by the end of next week, guys. So, anyone know where I am? To the moon. Right, July 14th, 2024, guys. To the moon. Wow, I sure hope so. Guess what? That was July 14th, right? What happened on the 13th, guys? Well, it seems like the circle is about to be completed, right? Or the loop. July 13th, anniversary anniversary of Judge Torres' uh, ruling declaring XRP not a security, right? Now, the real question is, when will they close a circle, guys, right? Or close a loop? Because July 13th is next week. Can they come out with the final judgment or final verdict next week, guys? Or will they wait until July 31st, expect the final ver uh, verdict on the SEC lawsuit, guys, right? So it's basically, supposedly, this month, guys. That's insane. So how can the markets be bearish? And I don't get it, right? That's what I'm saying. Maybe perhaps we're still bullish, right? Before that, Black Swan truly does enter uh, Q4. Now, the dates around 716 are interesting. Right, go up and never stop. Seven sixteen right here, seven fourteen to the moon. Um, seven sixteen from Howard Moon as well, guys. Right. Now, what's fascinating about that is four years ago on seven sixteen, we had, we seen President Donald Pump um delivers remarks at an event called Rolling Back Regulations to Help All Americans, Thursday, July sixteenth, twenty twenty. Wait, what? Talking about regulations, but at the same time, XRP was declared not a security around this date, right? And soon to be, the case is about to finally conclude. Weird, right? Four years of regulatory, uh, regulatory burden, guys. Four years, right? From twenty twenty, can will come out to twenty twenty four. 
What is that? Four years. Interesting. The heavy regulatory burdens that uh, that have been suppressing the price of XRP uh, for four years have been removed, guys. Here soon, it seems as. Wow, I'm truly excited. I can't wait. Right. Now, now that's again, guys. I don't know what's happening anymore, but it gets even crazier because on 7 15 2022, Mr. Pool tweeted, uh, tweeted a few things, such as stay calm because new times are incoming. Right. It's actually here. Again, guys, don't get too excited now, right? Stay calm. New times are on the horizon. Um, around that same date, where when XRP was declared, not a security, and hopefully, it's all about to conclude here soon as well. Now, reverse bearable guy tweeted this on seven twenty-five. The unicorns. Could that come out to seven sixteen as well, right? Seven two five would come out to seven seven if we add it up, but slice the seven apart. Seven sixteen. Possibly. Now for 717, this is crazy because when you type in the calendar, guys, the word calendar on, 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 um, on iPhone, on the iPhone, guys, it comes out as an emoji, right? What does July 17th? What? Why would they even, why would they even put that, guys, as the case, right? July 17th, guys, huh? Now, now, somebody actually decoded David Schwartz's riddle yesterday. Listen to this. This is insane. So, remember David Schwartz when he posted Evergreen, right? Don't be so quick to judge. Maybe it's filled with books about climate change. Now, quote unquote, quick to judge, meaning case, meaning the case against Ripple soon, soon to end. Hmm. Whoa, that's actually interesting, right? Quick to judge. Again, the judge is is about to come out quick with. Her judgment, guys, right? With the final judgment. Now, quote unquote, filled with books, meaning order books will be filled with cash. About cli about climate change, meaning everything is about to change. Evergreen, meaning forever green. Could that be the case, guys, right? That's a, that's a beautiful decode, to say the least, guys. Most definitely, right? I sure hope so. I mean, quick to judge, huh? All these will connect to the case soon to end. I sure hope so, guys, because that's the only thing that's remaining, right, until XRP is finally set free. What's that in the middle of the timeline so it begins again? Evergreen used to describe a legal agreement that will automatically renew start again. What? Evergreen tweet. Right, Evergreen. Now, so it begins. What's that in the middle of the timeline, guys? Right. Again, it restarts, it seems as. Um, now, if we pay so this was from Bob, this timeline came out from Baba Cux, but Baba Cux stated that he cracked the code, guys, and this is basically from the Riddlers, okay? As above, so below. Now, we are right now from the tra transitioning from June 22nd to July 22nd, guys, right? We are around this period right here. The next emoji is the yen. Then August 22nd is um is the dollar, guys. So will things be happening that ties into Japan, right, and their currency? Let us pay attention. Again, lots of black black swans looming around, guys. Now, it's a hundred percent regulations, guys. Right. XRP will be set free when we finally see the case conclude. Why? Confirmation from Deutsche Bank. Clear regulation or regulatory frameworks for crypto like Mika should drive uh, corporate adoption, pushing up prices, guys. Regulation equal price driver for the crypto markets because despite this negative leaning consumer sentiment, we expect Bitcoin's price to increase in 2024. First, the ETF approvals will pave the way for greater institutional investment by making it easier for uh, to gain exposure through a regulated vehicle. This could drive inflows into the markets and with limited and, and the, with the limited supply, there will be upward pressure on prices. Second, central banks' cuts in 2024 will likely increase demand as more investors search for higher returns from cryptocurrency. Wow, there you guys go. And that happens when September, the time is ticking. Lastly, comprehensive regulation is on the horizon. With the EU markets in crypto assets regulation coming into effect later this year, a clear regulatory framework should drive corporate adoption, pushing up prices, guys, right? Talking about regulations because Ripple, since re regulation would draw more investors and bring old uh, order 
It is believed that it will strengthen the entire crypto markets. Ripple stands to benefit greatly from additional regulation, guys. Look at that, right? It is. So they're waiting, they're waiting, they're, wa they're waiting, guys, for all this to conclude. And why do we need a level playing field, right? Implementation of a single global currency will impact every human be uh, behind on Earth, guys. The level playing field. Additionally, it will bring the opportunity to benefit from a one-time thir thir uh, $36 trillion value increase to assets worldwide. Now, check this out. I'll, are we talking about a level playing field, guys? Right? The lack of a single national regulatory frame framework is putting Nacy's innovation and Nacy's company at a significant disadvantage. All we are asking for is a level playing field from Brad Garlinghouse. Right? Look at this. From the BIS, a level playing field. Right? From the Federal Reserve. Promoting a level playing field for banks. A level playing field, guys. Steven Mnuchin. Right. Talking about crypto assets. SEC versus Binance. Along with XRP, the courts have ruled that cryptocurrency tokens in of themselves are not securities from the Binance case, guys. Right, SEC will lose again. Now check this out. SEC sued Amazon in the late 1990s, Facebook in 2012, and Tesla in 2018. We all know what happened to those companies after the cases were over. Right, Ripple up next, guys. This is exactly why my heart is smiling, because the case is about to conclude, which hopefully should pump XRP's price here soon, guys. Right, before the black swan enters, I'm cashing out, Ali's hedging, and then buying back in lower, hopefully. If Ripple is constructing the payment rails for XRP to bridge and stabilize currencies globally, that will make it the ideal uh, candidate to uh, candidate to serve as global reserve currency settlement mechanism, effectively replacing the dollar's role. Hmm. We continue to grow very quickly across our major product groups. Now, unfortunately, that growth is almost all coming from outside the United States, and we are hiring more and more people outside the United States. But our customer base now is about 95% non-U.S. companies, non-U.S. payment companies. I said I want 100 shares of Ripple. I want 100 shares of Ripple. <laughs> yeah, I know it's going down, but believe me, I know my Ripple will be coming up real soon. Interesting. This video was released in the, in the early 1990s, guys. Shortly after distributed ledger technology uh, patent was created. We have a chance to improve cross-border payments with huge benefits, and there is a pressing need to do so. Uh, but now we have someone from the private sector, uh, uh, Brad Garlinghouse, who is the CEO of the financial technology company Ripple. We're selling technologies to banks and financial institutions to solve a cross-border payments problem. So XRP ledgers tend to close about every four seconds, and they're pretty consistent in that. Bitcoin blocks produced every 10 minutes, but you can have an hour with no block, or you can have two blocks produced at the same time because it is a probabilistic process. This basically, so indirectly, they're talking about to level the playing field for us, the people, and the banks, guys, right? So the banks are up here, let's just say, as an example, but the, we, the people, are down here, right? We go up here, the, the, the banks come down, guys, and now we're all, now basically we're all in the same system, but a system at the end of the day. Um, distributed agreement protocols are not probabilistic. There's not enough room for all these blockchains. So you see Flow raise a ton of money, you see Solana raise a ton of money, you see, you know, Binance have a lot of money, you're trying to, you know, play their games. Right, and 90, maybe it's 80%, maybe it's 90% of the blockchains that you'll hear about, read about, see, are done. You're not gonna make it. XRP is a fantastic currency to use for, among other things, hedge funds. We need to move a lot of money very quickly. We make investments all over the world. Our LPs come from all over the world. And using banks to move money is a pain in the ass. I mean, it takes a day or two to move money around the world. And with XRP, our, our very first close was 50 million. We moved that money in, and I'm not shitting you, in like three seconds. And I think it costs 20 or 30 cents. There you guys go, right? So the use case is already there. Will people wake up and see? Nobody knows. The fountain for today's video comes from XRP Productions. One thing David Schwartz doesn't get enough credit for is his golfing prowess, guys. This is the most craziest, funniest video I've ever seen in my entire life. What is this? <laughs> guys, he literally looks like David Schwartz. <laughs> right here, he's using his wizardry, his wizard powers, guys. That's insane. Right. Hopefully, the ha he, he throws a spell on XRP to move prices up as well. Let's see what happens next. Please flip the switch and let's go. No, but anyways, that's hilarious. But anyways, that's amazing. Yeah.